Coming up on Hands on Tech, I'm going to show you a few tech products I use to make sure my pets are safe and sound at home when I've got to take a step away. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by IT Pro TV. Visit go.itpro.tv slash twit for an additional 30% off for the lifetime of your active subscription and use code twit30 at checkout. Up first, I want to talk about the $90 PetCube Bytes camera. So PetCube actually has several different products. There's the PetCube, the PetCube Bytes 2, the PetCube 2, all these different products. But what I have is their first model of PetCube Bytes, and it is honestly a bit of a behemoth. So this bad boy has a 138 degree wide angle camera and streams in beautiful 1080p HD. You get this really long USB-C cable here, and this plugs into the side of the device, and you'll see that the LED lights up, and that is when you can start using the app to connect it. Of course, I've already connected to the Wi-Fi for the sake of, you know, it's kind of like one of those uh, cooking shows where they've got every part of the meal under the table. We've already got it set up. So you'll hear a chime when the camera is connected, and that's good because there is actually a sharing feature that allows you to give other people access to your pet cube cam. And that way, you know, if, uh, the, <laughs> if your dog's grandma, which is what my mom likes to call herself, uh, wants to get access, then I know that, hey, oh, she's checking in to see the dogs and possibly wants to send them a treat or two. So you will see a screen that shows you the live access of that uh, camera there, that 1080p camera. And what's cool is, regardless of whether you, you know you have to step out during the day or step out during the night, there is an infrared LED that provides a little bit of night vision. So this can sense when it's dark and let you see. It's also got both microphone and speaker built in, so that way you can actually talk to your pets even if you're not around them and hear them talk back to you. But the magic of this PetQ Bytes Cam is the whopping container at the top that can hold two pounds of treats. That's about a hundred treats. Now, this is pretty nifty because they've made this dishwasher safe. So when you're done, when you it's time to fill in some new treats or what have you, you can wash by hand if you want to, but it's super nice because I can pop that bad boy into the dishwasher, get it going, and know that it's good to go. Now, you can have treats up to one inch in size. I do recommend a little bit smaller than that. Uh, these ones are, are pretty small, but the, the most important thing is that they're a little bit crunchy. So the crunchy treats are great because they're not gonna get stuck in the part that will actually allow you to fling these treats at your pet. Yes, that is the exciting thing about the PetCube Bites Cam. It's that it flings treats for your dog. So whether you're actually, you know, at the home or you're away, you can go ahead and fling those treats up to six feet. Now, the neat thing is that you can also schedule treat flinging. So you can imagine, you know, if you go to work and your dogs are at home, then I can go ahead and set up a schedule and say, hey, uh, about, I don't know, noon every day, right after they've had their lunch, then maybe I want to give them a few treats. They'll hear that chime come on and they will know, hey, it's time to uh, go and have myself a treat. So I'm going to show you how the flinging process works. In the bottom left corner of the screen, when I turn my phone to the side, which is kind of neat, it works uh, in, in both portrait and landscape, there's a little doggy bone. And this doggy bone uh, is, is the way that you fling treats. Now, you can sort of fling the bone uh, a, a small distance in the camera, a middle distance in the camera, or very far. And depending on where you drop it, that's going to show how far the treat flings. So I'm going to do a long shot here. Ah! <laughs> and we have Burke in the studio trying to catch the treats. Uh, that is the, the long shot. I'm going to do another one here. Ooh, there's going to be a few. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, so, of course, the dogs go running to the ground to try and get those treats out of the treat flinger. Uh, from there, you can also turn off, of course, the, the treat flinging option. Uh, hit the microphone button. You're going to get a lot of feedback if you're next to it. 
But if you're not next to it, that's a great way to say, hey, the treats are coming. The dogs come running, they wait. I shouldn't just say dogs though. You could also have cats as well. Uh, you can easily take a photo or take a video from this screen as well. Uh, now, one of the things that I really like about the Pet Cube Bites cam is that it comes with this really great grippy surface on the bottom. So that means that you don't necessarily have to put it up on a wall, which I'll talk about in a second, but you can also just set it uh, on a shelf or onto you know, a cabinet or something that you have in your home. And for those curious about this little door here, this is if you ever get a treat that gets jammed into the treat dispenser. You flip that open, you get in there, and you can easily clean out the treats. You can see there's some uh, treat dust, which reminds me of Cheeto dust. Um, that's treat dust that uh, over time, you know, you get in, in there as well. Now on the back of this camera, you can see I've got two mounting holes here. So this allows you to mount it on a wall. And that was actually the method that I liked to use uh, because it felt more secure and it, I could put it low to the ground and you know, watch my dogs from there. So either option is available. What I think is pretty neat is that Pet Cube actually ships with a mounting template. Most of the time when you want to mount something, you gotta do it yourself. You gotta come up with a way to mark pencil scratches on the wall or what have you. This comes with a great mounting template that lets you figure out right where the holes are, get it lined up, lock it down, and you're good to go. I wanna show you one more thing here. This is the lock for the container on top. And so I can flip that open, and hold that and then this will pop off. Now, if I pop this off right now, all those treats are gonna come pouring out. So I'm not going to do that, even though I think Anthony zoomed out because he wanted me to, but that is not a spectacle that I am down for today. So I'm gonna push that back down. I'm sorry, Anthony, and uh, flip that bad boy back around. And that is uh, the, the Pet Cube Bytes camera. So let's talk about video. Now, there is a free version that comes with every single uh, camera that you get. You're gonna get live video streaming, which is where you check in with the app, and you're gonna get four hours of video history. So you can kind of think of that for the day. You know, you leave, you go somewhere for three, four hours, and when you come back, that's gonna be saved for you in the app. You can go and say, okay, I know what my dog was doing at this time, and I can see sort of, oh, my dog ran in front of the camera and there was a bit of an activity alert. But there is also the Pet Cube Care subscription. Now you automatically get a 14 day free trial whenever you sign up for, whenever you first open and uh, sign up in the app for the Pet Cube Bytes or Pet Cube subscription. Now they, they come in two different versions. There's the optimal version, which is $3.99 a month. And that gives you three days of video history. So maybe you go on vacation and you have somebody who comes in and checks on the dog while you're away. You're gonna get three days of video history and you're you're gonna be able to save 30 second video clips. So if your dog does something hilarious while you're gone, then you could easily save out that video clip and share it on social media. There are also smart alerts, so it can tell the difference between barks, between meows, and between people. And of course there's filtering for each of those. So when I go into the app, I can say, I just wanna see when you recognized a bark, or I just wanna see when you recognized a meow or a person walking by. Uh, then you're also going to get 10 video downloads. So those are full videos, not just the clips that you can save from the cloud, all within the app. The premium version for $8.25 a month, that's gonna give you 90 days of video history, unlimited video downloads, and regardless of how many pet cube cameras you have in your home, that's gonna be available for you there. This is the most important thing to me. Both subscriptions come with something called the Pet Care Perks. Now, you normally, you, those discounts that you get with apps and things like that aren't that great, but there are some pretty neat discounts that come with this, and that's one of the reasons why I ended up subscribing, was because you can get things like uh, free dog walks, you can get things like a uh, free dog bed or cat scratcher, <laughs> and my favorite, yeah, folks, they've got Audible for dogs. You get three free audiobook credits and you can have your dogs listen to Audible audiobooks while you're away that are specifically made for them. Now, this comes in three different versions of color. There's the carbon black version, which I have here. There's the rose gold version, which if I had any thought in my, my mind at all, I would have gone with. Uh, and then there's the matte silver version, which is gonna match those MacBook Pros you probably have sitting around. Now, if you're wondering the difference between the first version, this is the PetQ Bytes camera and the PetQ Bytes 2 camera, 
Well, first is the price. The Pet Cube Bites 2 costs $249, but it has a 180 degree wide angle lens. It's also got a more compact design, so if this feels a little big for you, then you can go there. And I think the best part of it is that it has Amazon's Assistant built in. So that means it actually doubles as a smart speaker. So that might mean one less echo in your house and one more way for you to keep track of your pets or anything like that. This episode of Hands-On Tech is brought to you by IT Pro TV, experienced IT professionals who deliver comprehensive training at the click of your mouse. IT Pro TV is CompTIA's official video training partner. Visit go.itpro.tv slash twit for an additional 30% off for the lifetime of your active subscription and use code twit30 at checkout. That's go.itpro.tv slash twit and use the code twit30 for an additional 30% off for the lifetime of your active subscription. IT Pro TV, build or expand your IT career and enjoy the journey. Now, I have to admit, this is a little complicated. It involves popping in treats all the time and making sure that your treats, <laughs> that your dogs don't knock it over if you don't mount it to the wall. It gets a little complicated. If you already have a camera in your home or if you're looking to add a camera to your home that works not just for your pets, but for anything, uh, then I've got a few there for you. So I'm gonna kick this bad boy off the, off the rack and talk about my, one of my favorite options, which is, you've probably heard of this company before, it is the Nest Cam. This is the $199 Nest Cam Indoor. It is a Wi-Fi connected camera with 130 degrees of vision, and it comes with several infrared LEDs, eight in total to provide what I think is one of the best uh, night vision options uh, across different security cameras. Once again, you're looking at 1080p streaming and with the Nest Cam, you're getting motion tracking, you're getting sound tracking as well. And when you've got pets, I think the most important thing is that you can talk and listen with the microphone and the speaker that are built into this. So another neat thing about the Nest Cam is that it's pretty, versatile. So right now I've got it on this mount and this this is a great way to set it. I can set it and forget it. I just plug it in with the USB connection on the back there and I'm done. Or there it comes with a mount so I can fasten the mount to the wall and then magnet this onto that mount. I can also, and here's uh, quite the maneuver, we're going to take this and magnet it onto some metal so if you've got something like a, a fridge or you've got a cabinet or you've got whatever this is, I'm probably in trouble for not knowing what this is, but don't tell Leo, uh, then you can just go ahead and stick that on there and, and it's good to go and adjust however you need to. That's why I really like the magnet option that's available. And last but not least, if you've got a tripod, then you can use the standard tripod uh, option there stick this wherever you want. Especially if you got one of those fancy like gorilla pod mounts or, or one of those where you can wrap it around whatever you want to. So this camera can go many places as long as it's indoors. That is the Nest Cam. Now I do want to talk about the subscription services that are available because Nest offers what's called Nest Aware. And it comes in different categories. So for $5 a month, you get five days of video history with 24 seven recording. You get intelligent alerts. Now, what, the, what happens here is that it'll actually upload to the server and it's got algorithms that can tell the difference between a person and an object. It can also tell the difference between a dog barking, between a person talking, and it uses all of that to provide information on what is actually going on where you are. Now, it also offers clips and time lapses. Time lapses are one of my favorite features with this, especially if my dogs are in, in the room. I like to play that yakety sax music over the top. <laughs> and so they're da, 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 da. I don't know if that's yakety sax, it doesn't matter. Point is, it's really funny to see them run running around back and forth uh, throughout the day. And I can kind of see if, you know, they got up to something they weren't supposed to while I was away. And what I find to be one of the most handy features, which is activity zones. So I don't necessarily need to know that 
this one portion of my house has an activity in it, but maybe I want to have an activity zone over the front door and the window to make sure no one's busting in. That's what activity zones allow you to do, and with the Nestware subscription, you gain access to those. You can easily mark out the territory for where the camera should be paying attention to those different motions. For $10 a month, you get 10-day history, and if you had to guess, what would you say $30 a month gets you? If you guessed 30 day video history, you would be correct and you get bonus points from my heart. Congratulations. That is the Nest Cam. Like I said, a lot of people have, you've probably heard of this. Of course, this comes from Google and this is one of several cameras that they offer, but that is the Nest Cam indoor. So please, folks, don't put your Nest Cam indoor outdoors. Now we'll talk about another option, which I know is a favorite of some tech folks. This is the Wise Cam. Now, why is it wise? Because you're not spending very much money on this. This is a $20 camera. The Wise Cam is $20. Now, what do you get with $20? Turns out quite a bit. In fact, you don't have to worry about the subscription because it will go ahead and save video for you for free. Now, it only is going to save the video when it detects, you know, the motions and the sounds and things like that. But that's the most important part. That's why we get subscriptions to these other ones, because we're wanting to see at hour 16 what actually was moving or making sound in our home. So if I can do that and only spend $20, that's pretty neat. Now, if you do want to have more video history saved, then you can pop in an SD card, a little micro SD into the bottom here, and that will allow you to keep track of more video. It also has a magnetic mount and features a USB right on board. The Wise Cam, it's a cute little cube, and for $20, that's honestly hard to beat. For that $20 price, you're not getting a whole lot feature-wise, but if you're just looking for a way to keep track of your pets when you're away for however long, this is a pretty good price for a camera that you can't beat. That is the Wise Cam. So between Nest, Wise Cam, or this big behemoth that is the Pet Cube Bites, there's probably a camera for you to help you keep track of your pets, make sure they're safe and sound and snug. Now, if you're one of those people that doesn't let your pets on the couch, this may be an opportunity for you to catch them in the act. But we gotta admit, it is a little cute when you leave the house and then the dog gets up on the couch because it knows you're not there. So we'll all smile, fling a couple treats at them with the Pet Cube Bites and uh, go our merry way. I'm Micah Sargent, and if you're looking for some of the other shows that I do, you can find me on iOS Today. We record that live on Tuesdays, as well as Tech News Weekly, where Jason Howell and I talk to the people who make and break the tech news. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions about pet tech, be sure to send those my way. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands On Tech.